Yes, get in position. Never see us coming. What goes around? If we are to survive on this planet, we must be cautious, or conscious even, of our new ecosystem. Luckily, we have learned from our past mistakes and have already installed a consistent recycling policy. The benefits of recycling are already known to us, but what of recycled goods? Low quality goods can be produced more quickly, thereby reaching more people. On the other hand, high quality goods are sturdier and can be used for more demanding work, such as food production. In the long run, which would be more beneficial? We definitely need food. Starvation is becoming a serious concern. Even my cross stomach is growling all the time. High quality goods can be used to harvest crops. The more foods we produce, the more people will grow. Yes, people do grow. Stronger goods leads to stronger citizens. Quite right. And strength is the second part of the SIF code. So of vital importance. We need great people, not many losers. Aliens in my territory? That's the wrong answer. You sup, turn around to deal with this. We'll wait here until the rest of the fleet arrives. For a change, we can take a break military protection and work on that repair facility. Oh wait rather. No, that'll just help our ground soldiers. I think going off here will be in a ship, so that won't help much. Network then. Communicate our science across our new nation. Do we want to move even further south? Yes, to the bay. Keep sailing. We'll go here and make a nice little turn here. And claim this whole area. And north. Oh god, that island is back again. I don't want to deal with you. I need the fleet to be full at full strength. Not battered and wounded after we beat another one monster down. Good work. Ally, good work. You have quite a submarine fleet, I'm impressed. I'm open to the possibilities. Yes, that looks good to me, indeed. This is quite a strong alliance. All will fare our name in time, my friend, in time. Stay at a distance and keep firing. Do not attack yet. Just shoot the lion from a distance for a while. territory. They're brave, I'll give them that. 
Open fire. Another monster. Yes, the world is beautiful and unspoiled. But it is wrong. Correct it at once. Indeed. Make it proper for the Empire. Not some Jedi louts. Some simpering weasel. The first five machines of Earth are... The wheel, the lever, the inclined plane, the dynamo, and the screw. Well, how silly is that? Obviously, you need the dynamo before the inclined plane. You need power. Full still. Additional expeditions. Ah, very good. Upgrades. Ah, our gun boats can be improved. Cruisers. Become strong and see units. Ah, so we finally know what those floating stones are. We've located here. An element similar to Isotope 5, though less effective, but more numerous to harvest. It, makes, uh, it changes gravity in various interesting ways. Very good for weapon construction and floating weapons specifically. That can be useful if we have to continue these wars. Now then, we also can discover what those crystals are. So let's work on that. لدينا بعض الخبرة في التجارة. Cooperation with you? Yes, I'd love to cooperate with you, my lady. What an enchanting accent you have, by the way. Yes, unfortunately I'm not friends with you, in fact. I'm secretly planning to attack that city of yours. Perhaps you haven't seen the fleet at your horizon yet. Don't worry, you soon will. Wait just a little bit longer. And you. Begin to work on that floatstone then. Oh wait, there's still the problem of that alien beast over there. I've heard of societies with no culture, but yours definitely takes the cake. We'll pay for those insults in time. Just wait till you see what we'll do with the purple people. Right, I think we are ready. Open fire! Their cities didn't even last a day. <laughs> oh, you'll make a good puppet. There's no point in this, there's no valuable resource of any kind around here. Just weak grasslands. I see no use for that. Ladaina Badul Hubrati Fitijara. Yes, my dear friend. First responders, I can understand why you'd need that. After that display of power, you'll probably want to make sure that your own citizens are secured. I can understand that, of course. We'll have them. Improve our Imperial nature. Oh 
dear. There's apparently a lot of pestilence and sickness in that city. I should have removed the populace before I, completely, I claimed it. But the fast attack strategy did not allow for that. Ah, so you are trying to surrender. So give the city power and influence. Well, I have no beef with you, and you understand your place, it seems. I will agree. I'll call off the simpleton and make sure he does not continue something idiotic. Goodbye. Oh, the sea on the other side of the sea. can support more sickness, which it undoubtedly has, so I fear I will raise it. There are so few of you, it's an miracle you aren't inbred yet. How vulgar. Thanks for that, my friend. Thanks for that little comment. Terrible health from new concourse ravages us. <coughs> Still, we must carry on. We shouldn't lose focus of the tactical site. That makes me think. While this strange city is close to us, and this my place might be far away, it might be a useful staging ground for future attacks. So instead of sinking, uh, sinking off this one, let's stop sinking off that one. We will instead start sinking off. Uh, yes, an exit, and then we raise it. Sink off that one. As really, we can make our own stations here in the sea. But if we are going to keep this thing, we should name it something else. Let's rename it... After our second officer. After Piro. Let's see, what was her last name? Ravion, I think? Yes. So we will name this... Ravion Station. as efficient as the namesake. Hmm. Oh, I suppose we can leave from here. Oh no, let's uh, return back home. Oh wait, no no no. We want to eventually camp this little sector here. So we might as well move the fleet there to make it clear to everyone who intends to rule that sector. The plague situations are abysmal. Maybe this grim goo can help us with adaptation, so quickly create a station for it. It will be better once we've evacuated and cleared all these people and sunk the city. <coughs> I hope. Move here. Oh, a nest. Well, that can't be left there. That must be removed for the good of the people. And whatever resource inside, we will just take as our pay. I mean, that's justice. Your expedition team has salvaged the remains of a sunken vehicle of alien origins. Though it was wrecked beyond repair, its rare alien materials have given your city of Dias Hold a boost in production. Excellent! And you can begin making an installation to pump out that Xenomass stuff. Try 
for arms development. No, we need state arms development. I don't want every citizen to run around with a gun like some kind of lunatic. That's not orderly. Two nests now! Well, this definitely... What on earth are you? A giant lobster? Well, it will be wise to first bomb it. Before we engage the giant lobster. Perhaps we can eat it after we kill it. Oh, it's not that tough, it seems. Look, it's gone. Our fossils are getting quite good at uh, exterminating these beasts. There's no more available trade routes, so no more trade route making. Well, let's begin with a spy agency then. <laughs> Damn snails. Cursed pass pathogens. This better not be the death of me. Or I will return a very, very angry Sith Ghost. Well, all Sith Ghosts are pretty angry, from what I've heard. Cheerful Sith Ghost might be interesting. Leave my ships alone, or you'll be dinner- no, not- or you'll just be dinner next. There's not another choice in this matter. Here, yeah, look. Yes, upgrade. And look. You're gonna get, get bombed to bits. There you go. Now you... More nests. <laughs> the scientific method. The head of our new laboratory has an interesting proposal. At the moment, our research is quite rot. The approach is beneficial, but is dependent upon building more laboratories in one in other cities. However, he believes we can increase our scientific progress by focusing our research on xenoecology. Once we understand the local biology, we should be able to harness it for our scientific endeavors. Hmm. Well, that's great, but... Uh, we need to do more than just just know the, the environment. We need weapons and physics and that sort of thing. That's not going to... Biology is not going to help with that, so no. We maintain the broad approach to research. If we focus too much on alien studies, we may well lose sight of other possible advancements. Let us keep our research broad. Hopefully all this... Naval trading will eventually lead to uh, more skill in space-based combat. We'll have a flight of quite a uh, troop of naval officers. Let's begin harvesting that floatstone stuff. Robots do not complain, question or rest, which makes them good role models for the rest of you. Quite right indeed. A good worker is a silent worker. I wonder what life was like on Earth when the whole atmosphere was breathable. I have no idea what you are talking about at all. So, we know what... We are able to retrieve those crystals from the sea mines. Apparently they work well in computer development. Dug up Dr. Tallinn's research on the Swarm Computer project and the uh, use of a Deacon crystals in their workings. Apparently, these crystals are even more efficient. Than so, we might see uh, a better use in that than a lightsaber, but a lightsaber building. But who knows? They may be multifunctional. So now we know all. Of those strange materials that we can harvest. Mission is what do we do? We were, we still have that issue with our with that genetic deficiency in our colony. So we will need to find out how to make a farm. Which 
Kinetics! That's not too far away. And there's three turns. So let's work on that. A few years, we can have a solution towards our sicknesses. information from its observations in orbit, which are explanation related immediately for a scientist for analysis. We are able to do preliminary research on the distant technology, technology of cognition. Aren't we all cognitions? No? Alright. The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. Protectorate? Hmm. Jedi, more like. You look like a Jedi, sound like a Jedi. So it all thinks you are a Jedi. Do not come near us. You're lucky that we're busy now with other matters, or we would come for you. We will eventually come for her. Jedi scum. Can't even leave you alone on a foreign, uh, foreign alien planet. Yeah, let's... Re oh dear. Where's Kigali is slowly getting surrounded by alien filth. Hmm. Well, I have nothing against you, purple person. So, we agree with your cooperative. Let's not linger on uh, that little war that we had. Lord Daya, log entry number five. Through victory, our chains are broken. Why do those words sound hollow to my throbbing head? I wish now I'd listened more to Dr. Hawkeran, or the other bioscientist we had in the Bureau. These <coughs> diseases and parasites are killing us. After our glorious display of military might, we need to focus towards our efforts, toward adaptation and medical research. Now more than ever. Perhaps that is fitting. After a great duel with a Jedi or their fierce foe, some time with the medics is usually required. At least that's my experience. If we can endure this, we are in a good position now, both militarily and scientifically. Is the xenomass, ferraxite crystals, and floatstone isotopes all offer very interesting possibilities to exploit. All we need to do now is fish them up and endure. End of log entry.